Use star code Aquila when buying Robux or Premium. Also check out my Roblox merch and my real life merch. These are all of my social media accounts and I have no backups. And my Discord server will be linked in the description. Subscribe and enjoy the video. Hi everyone! It's Akila. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about how to start a successful Bloxburg YouTube channel. Now, nothing is guaranteed out of watching this video. Everything comes with time, experience, and hard work. Also, this is not a tutorial video, but I will be leaving very helpful links in my description box as well as timestamps if you're just looking for one specific thing. I'm really excited to share everything with you. So without further ado, let's get started. I broke everything down in different categories, so let's go over them. Name, equipment, content, channel art, intros and videos, thumbnails, originality, and last but not least, management. And once we're done covering all of these topics, I will be answering your most asked questions about being a Bloxburg YouTuber myself. So let's get started with the first category because we have a lot to talk about. Okay, so as we can see on the list, the first topic is your name. So it's important to establish a unique, a memorable name for yourself. If you already have a Roblox account, which I'm sure most of you guys do, um, then maybe try and come up with a YouTube name that is similar to your Roblox name or even the same thing, just so it saves people the confusion of looking up different usernames and trying to remember it. If you just keep everything the same, it's just a lot easier for everyone else. So for instance, my YouTube name is obviously It's Aquila, and my Roblox username is the same thing. And one of my best friends, Sammy, her YouTube channel is Sammy the Gamer, and her Roblox username is Sammy Plays Roblox. So it doesn't have to be the exact same, but maybe something that just correlates with each other. I feel like picking a name is really important because sometimes people don't like their usernames. So really take your time and think about it. You don't have to rush, there's no deadline. YouTube will always be here, I mean, hopefully. But yeah, it's just really important, so don't rush it. Make sure it's something that you like and is maybe meaningful to you. Moving on to category number two, which is equipment. Everyone assumes that to start a YouTube channel, you have to have the best equipment, top notch, super expensive, and that's not true. If you have it, that's great. If you don't, that's also perfectly fine. So first, figuring out what device you want to record all of your content on. So if you use a phone, a tablet, a computer, or a laptop, your microphone. So the mic that I have right now is called a Blue Yeti microphone. And it's a bit pricey, but also I didn't start off with this microphone. I actually just started off with the built-in microphone that's in my MacBook. So yeah, um, you can also use a snowball microphone you could just search cheap microphone on amazon and get one from there i heard that they had mics at five below or you can just use the mic that is on your headphones or your built-in computer mic like i started with now i know not everybody has a microphone or doesn't want to share their voice with the world, or maybe you're just not allowed to. Whatever the case may be, and that's fine. You don't need a microphone, but I did find that more people enjoy Roblox videos that actually have your voice, so just a tip. Next is your screen recorder, and that is very, very important. And this is also where you guys are gonna come in because I'm gonna need your help. I'm not familiar with many other softwares, minus the ones that I already use, so if you have any suggestions, comment them down below. I want the comments section to be an area where we can ask each other questions and also help each other out. But for my suggestions, if you are on a computer or laptop, I would highly suggest OBS. There's many tutorials on how to use OBS, so I will be linking everything in my description box as I mentioned before. I don't use OBS unless I'm recording Among Us on my gaming laptop, but 
I normally record Roblox content, which is on my iMac. I just prefer filming on my iMac because it's just a way bigger screen. So I use QuickTime, which is a app or software that comes with your um, Apple computer. And it's really nice. It's pretty simple to use. There's also tutorials for that too. Both OBS and QuickTime are free. If you're on mobile, if you're on an Apple phone, or if you're on an iPad, there is a built-in screen recording feature, which is very helpful. And you can also record your voice with that feature too. So that's really good. And if you're on Android, I'm not exactly sure what the best screen recording software is if there is one so if anybody can help me with that comment down below finding an editing software that works for you and the best one for your device whether it's a free one or a paid app now i can give you a few suggestions i'll put some on the screen as i'm speaking but I would recommend iMovie for anyone on an Apple device. I believe it's free on every Apple device. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's very easy to use. There's many tutorials for everything that I'm listing, but I started off with iMovie actually. And then as I furthered into my YouTube career, YouTube journey, I switched over to Final Cut Pro a while ago, and it was a pretty smooth transition. I feel like iMovie and Final Cut um, layouts are pretty similar, so yeah, I didn't have too much trouble. Final Cut Pro is very pricey. It's $300, but there's many other free options as you just saw on the screen. Um, you don't have to start off with the best of the best. Like I said, you don't even have to get the best of the best. Just find what works for you. And that's pretty much it. Our last topic for the equipment category is music. So intro and background music. Now, I feel like we all are looking for copyright free music. The last thing you want is to get copyright strikes because your channel could eventually get deleted, which you definitely do not want. So, I would say the YouTube library is decent. I feel like they don't have the best song choices, but everything there is free and it's from YouTube. So, definitely copyright free. You can also go on YouTube and search copyright free music. But you have to be careful because sometimes the music actually is copyrighted. I feel like a reliable source is um, audio library on YouTube. But just make sure whenever you add music to your videos, you're always giving proper credit in your description box. You can also add in the copyright disclaimer, the fair use disclaimer that everybody else has in their description box just to be safe. I could also suggest a few more things. So Ben Sound has good music. Kevin MacLeod has good music. I feel like everybody has used Kevin MacLeod at least once if you have a YouTube channel. And I use Epidemic Sound for my background music, but it is a subscription. So it does cost money, but I feel like they have some of the top music choices ever. We have covered everything in the equipment category, so let's move on to content. When it comes to content, you have to schedule and plan. That's very important, especially if you want to start a Bloxburg roleplay family. So coming up with a schedule that works for you, gathering your friends that are going to help you with this roleplay, you have to find dedicated friends. I know everyone has their own schedule, people get busy, and things happen that you can't stop sometimes, but try to find reliable people. Because the worst thing is planning out something, everyone says that they're going to help you, and then they flake on you. This also means making sure everyone's schedules work, building your role playhouse and sets that you might need. So filming areas like I'm in right now, a city or a town or other buildings that you want for your videos, just having everything completely ready. This is also just a way to be considerate of everyone else's time 
And if you need to plan out your videos, I'd highly recommend doing that. And writing scripts, if you wanna write everything out word for word, I don't necessarily write everything out word for word unless we're doing a certain scene where I need everything to just like make sense, then maybe I will. But for the most part, I kind of just have like a rough draft of how I want everything to go. And another important thing, the last thing, is making a group chat with all of your friends who help you with their roleplay. Having a dedicated group chat to your roleplay series. Category number four is channel art. So this relates to your channel banner and profile picture. I actually pay Instagram artists real money to draw a cartoon of me for my YouTube channel. There are people on Instagram and Twitter who do take Robux, Bloxburg money, adopt me cash too. Or you can draw your own, use your Roblox character, or find a picture on Google Images, as long as it's not stolen from another creator. And you can also find an app where you can make like a cartoon of yourself. I know there's like this really popular app that everyone started using for a while, and I'll put a picture of mine on the screen. And uh, yeah, so something like that. When it comes to channel banners, you can also pay people to make channel banners for you. I normally like to make my own and I just incorporate my profile picture that I got made into it. And I make my channel banners on Photoshop, but there are many tutorials on YouTube on how to make your own. If you are planning on making your own channel banner, there's actually a free template on Google Images. So just type in YouTube channel banner template and it'll come up and it'll give you like the guidelines on where everything needs to go. Category number five, intro and videos. Honestly, you can just search on YouTube how to make a Roblox intro or how to make a YouTube intro and there's many options, many creative ways. I will link some of my top favorites in the description box. But when it comes to making my intros, I feel like I have a pretty complicated process. So I won't be making a tutorial. I kind of just want to keep that originality. But once you've completed all these steps, you should be ready to make your first roleplay video as a Bloxburg YouTuber. So I'm going to give you guys some good videos to start off with. These are all pretty popular Bloxburg roleplay ideas and do have great potential of blowing up. But don't get your hopes up too high because you never know and people grow at their own pace. But you can start off your first video on your channel with a moving day video. Those are always really good. So moving into your new roleplay house by yourself or with your Bloxburg family, then you can do a decorating your house video or like a first house tour. And if you ever remodel your house or like decorate your kid's room or a certain room that you just really are passionate about, that you really like, then make a video about that too. I've done plenty. And you can also do a routine, your morning routine in Bloxburg, your night routine, family's day out routine. You can go to the beach, visit town, just get creative. Once you make your first Roblox video, it's time to get into the thumbnails, which are really important because thumbnails are what get people to actually click on your video. So you want it to be eye-catching. Making sure that the images are good quality, you can see the words clearly, you want to use bold fonts. So you can find a perfect font that fits you and your channel at 1001fonts.com or dafont.com. You can also learn how to make a Roblox graphic, which is what most Bloxburg or Roblox YouTubers have in their thumbnails. It's just your Roblox character or characters in a pose. I actually have a GFX tutorial on my channel, so I'll link that too, as well as one of my other favorite videos, which is super helpful. Unfortunately, to download the software that you need to make a GFX like I do, you will need a laptop or computer, but there are a few ways on how to make it on mobile. It's just a bit different, so I'll be sure to link that too. Going back to editing software, you will need an app to edit your thumbnails with. I use Photoshop 
and I have a tutorial on my channel which will be linked as well. And I'll leave some more app suggestions on the screen, whether you're on PC or mobile. Category number seven, originality. It's okay to be inspired by someone, but don't go around stealing their work. No matter how big or small you are, you're definitely gonna get caught doing it and you're not gonna make a good name for yourself because everyone's gonna know that you stole something. So always give credit. If you use a role play house from a speed build, if someone started a trend, etc. Giving credit is a form of respect and is common courtesy. Last but definitely not least, category number eight is about management. So I'd recommend getting an app for scheduling and managing your time, or you can just use a planner and you can write everything out. I feel like I'm definitely on my phone more, so I do use my phone for notes all the time, but do what works for you. Also get the YouTube Studio app because from there you can add thumbnails to your videos, edit your description box, your title, reply to comments, view your sub count revenue, watch time, analytics, and so much more. It's just a really helpful app. And just like that, we have gone through all the categories on how to become a successful Bloxburg YouTuber. So now I'm gonna be answering some of your most commonly asked questions about being a Roblox slash Bloxburg YouTuber, and I'm super excited. How long does it take you to film videos? If I'm filming an episode for the Bloxburg roleplay series, sometimes we have to wait for morning or night. So if we're doing a morning routine or something, that takes place in the daytime. We film from 8 a.m. in Bloxburg until the sun goes down, which is around like four or five in game. So then we have to just like wait until it's morning all over again, just so everything makes sense. Like why am I filming a morning routine when it's nighttime outside? I just, I'm not a fan of doing stuff like that. Big Virgo energy right there. But the next question is, who plays your Bloxburg family? So I have a group of friends who always help me with my videos. There's Sammy, Hannah, Shy, Astro, Maya, Lena, and the other Maya. Moody Bear does help occasionally, but he's been busy, which is understandable. So yeah. Who plays who in your Bloxburg roleplay series? No one really has a specific role right now. Whoever is available at the time just logs in as who I need. So if you've noticed recently, Leah and Leo have been very, very sassy recently. And that's because Sammy has played both of them in some of my recent videos. And she usually plays Layla, the sassiest of them all. <laughs> and that's another reason why I voice over all of the family members. Since no one has a set role, and since Astro and Moody are the only boys in the group, sometimes the girls end up playing Leo or August if the boys aren't free. So that's why I never have them voice act as the characters. How can your friends hear you? We have our own Discord group chat, and when it's time to film, we all join a voice call. But you can also join FaceTime or talk to your friends over the phone if you know them personally because safety first. Can we see your Bloxburg family's real faces? It is not my place to show anyone's face. How do you stay motivated? Knowing I actually have a schedule now. Having a schedule helps so much. So I highly recommend figuring out the days that you're going to post. I started my schedule the beginning of 2021 and I post Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, sometimes Fridays, sometimes I double upload Saturday, and I take Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturday or Sunday to film. Friday is normally my resting day, so that's how I stay motivated, knowing I have break days, I have break times, I have dedicated editing times instead of just trying to do everything all in one day, which happens occasionally, you know. My schedule does change sometimes, but I feel like staying motivated is also staying organized. Do things ever go wrong in the role plays? Of course, and that's another reason why it may take so long. Look, dad, look! Okay, come back and look at the 
picture. Ooh, I smell pancakes. Wait, I messed up. Wait, August, say that line again. All right, let me fry these up. Wait, nope, 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 nope. I'm heating up some veggies. Wait, can you say that again? I missed it. Kids, you stand on the same side. August, you stand next to me a little bit closer. Leah, like kind of in front of me. There we go. Okay, perfect. Sometimes we goof off, but I'm sure my friends will tell you if we goof off too much, I definitely get very, very serious. Big Virgo energy. Once again, all my Virgos understand. How long does it take to edit videos? My friends always say I edit fast. Um, without breaks, I'd say one hour to an hour and 30 minutes, depending on the video. If it's a video by myself, maybe a bit shorter, but if it's like a role play where I have to like cut out other people's lines too, or like spelling mistakes or whatever, then it might take a little bit longer. How long do your videos take to upload? It used to be hours, honestly, which is ridiculous. Then at the end of 2020, I upgraded our internet. So now it takes like 10 minutes to 30 minutes, which is very helpful. How to stay motivated when you don't gain subscribers fast? Uh, knowing that everything will pay off. All the hard work will eventually pay off. Everyone starts from nothing unless you really got it like that. If you do, hit me up or something. <laughs> But everyone grows at different times. Don't compare yourself to other people and you'll be okay. Don't worry. As long as you're doing it for the right reasons, not doing it for money, not doing it for the fame. Those are just other factors that play into everything. But make videos because you genuinely want to. How to sound good when you're recording. Uh, a tip I have is drink water. Stay away from dairy, it causes mucus. Do test videos with your mic in different spots to see where you get the best sound quality. Also make sure you sound enthusiastic and really bring some acting to the table. Because people don't wanna sit and listen to your video if you're just talking like this. Hi guys, it's me, today I'm gonna be with my roleplay family. Okay, like we get it. You sound like you don't wanna be here. And now I don't wanna be here, so I'm gonna click out of your video. Sorry, but that's how it is. How to deal with hate. Honestly, I do clap back sometimes because I find it funny. But don't let it get to you, don't take it personally. Just delete the comments, block the person. You know, you can also ban certain words on your channel. And trust me, I have a lot of words banned. But I'm not saying this to scare you. Um, the more exposure you get, though, you're going to be a bigger target for haters or just like rude comments. And it's a part of life. Everyone with a platform is going to go through it at some point. And I'm pretty sure half of these people that are leaving these comments wouldn't say anything to your face. So don't take it to heart. How long does it take you to make thumbnails? Probably about 20 minutes at this point. It used to take me a lot longer, but I've established my style. I think about it before I make it. And yeah, it just, it just comes naturally at this point. And the last question is where do I get my inspiration from and do I come up with my own house designs? Yes, I come up with my own house designs and I get inspiration from other YouTubers sometimes, but I never try and copy anybody uh, full out. And if I like take the base of a build or something, I always give credit, but I haven't done that in a while. So yeah, I mainly get inspiration from Google Images and Pinterest, and it does take a while for me to actually build something that I like. It takes a lot of planning out. Sometimes I even draw it out on graph paper, and it's really helpful. And that brings this video to an end. This was so much fun to film, and I hope it was helpful, even if it was in the slightest way possible. Let me know in the comments section. Also, 
Remember to use the comment section to ask each other questions, leave suggestions. If you have concerns about anything, that's what it's for. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video. And good luck on becoming a successful Bloxburg YouTube channel. I know you can do it. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!